Hey guys, Chris here. Right behind me we have the 2020 Volkswagen ID3, Volkswagen brand new electric car. And in today's video, we're gonna take a tour of this car on the exterior and on the interior. So as you can see from the intro, I'm wearing these gloves because this is a demo vehicle. This is a very popular vehicle now. I managed to get hold of it just for a few hours. I'll also do a review or a test drive, but it will be very limited. This is a demo vehicle that I managed to borrow just for a few hours. And well, the requirement is to wear these plastic gloves because of COVID-19. And also you can see this car has also the livery from Müller Biel Vest here in Western Oslo. A huge thanks to them guys. A link to their website in the description down below and also their Instagram. If you're in Norway, go ahead and follow them. They have one of the best customer service in Norway of all the Volkswagen dealers. So starting off with the exterior, this is a white car with, as I said, the livery from the new ID3. This has also 19 inch wheels that, well, don't look at that big on a rather small car. This is a car which is sized like a Volkswagen Golf, but as you can see, it sits a bit higher and that's also reflected by the driving position. You do sit almost SUV like in this car. Moving over to the front here, you have these cool headlights with the LED strips running through the outer rim of the light. And also you have the new Volkswagen logo here, which looks very cool, white and black. And then you also have some details here on the bumper. It looks a little bit like, you know, the new Volkswagen Golf also. And then you also have a radiator down there. Um, not too much going on, you know, on in the front. You have this LED light strip also across the, the front running through the logo but you don't have a grill because this is an electric vehicle this also has a blacked out to top portion of the roof as you can see that looks very cool and also has privacy glass from the b pillar and backwards i think the stance and how this car sits is very nice i just like the way it looks typical volkswagen very simple very elegant you know not too, too much to say you also have this small three-quarter window here which helps with visibility because as you can see here the a pillar is rather slim but you also have this supporting piece here which to, together combine to make a very strong structure but that helps with visibility and also making the cabin feel airy and light so you have the charging port here on the side like a traditional car and I also think you have that on the other side if I'm not mistaken. No, you also only, only have that on one side. And as you can see here, this car has a range of 420 20 kilometers WLTP or 262 miles. And you have the rear end of this car which I think is the best looking portion of this car. I think it looks very cool and let's go ahead and just lock the car because this car can do a dance with its lights let's see if we can hit that lock button and this should have something a proximity sensor so if you have the key on you just put it in your pocket and then you step up to the car it should do it should open and do a sequence there yeah um, I think it's not dark enough but it was if it was darker it would do a sequence I'm gonna insert a video But I like the rear end of the car. The blacked out portion here I think looks very cool. And the white ID3 logo there looks very nice. So the overall, you know, uh, exterior of this car, there isn't too much to talk about because it's just a simple and elegant design. I like, you know, the side skirts down there below the doors. Just small features here and there making this car just stand out a bit. And also, the, this is a first edition. This is a first edition plus. I should mention that. And let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the interior. As you can see here, the mirrors are now folding. This car has keyless go and keyless entry. Um, if I put my hand behind there, you can see the car unlocking and the mirrors unfolding. If I put my finger here, as you can see, the mirrors fold and the car is now locked. But as I said, this also has a proximity sensor. So you just have to walk up to the car 
to for it to be open which is very cool so here we have the front door and well in my opinion is a bit disappointing because Volkswagen are known for high quality materials this is a cheap plastic and you also have that well other places on the dashboard but electric cars are trying to move into the mass market and they have to cut cost somewhere and Volkswagen said well they think people won't care too much about well the, the the plastics here if you want high quality interior you'll move to a premium product and for this price range and for this segment I think they are absolutely right so I'm not going to rip them there but I wish just that they would you know make the door top of the door and also maybe parts of the dashboard of higher quality plastics if we just had a strip of hard soft touch plastics on top of well the door I would be more than happy but I'm not complaining too much you have a soft uh, insert here and also have this black uh, piano finished plastic and you also have large door uh, pockets here and then you also have a speaker grill down there you have electric front windows. That makes me think, are the rear windows even able to open or are they manually adjustable? You also have the folding of the mirrors and you also can adjust the mirrors. You have heated mirrors on this model also, but it says rear. Ah, oh, you can control the rear windows. No, that's the rear window locks, which makes me think that this car does have rear. Ah. Oh. Okay, so you can control the rear from here. I'm not sure. Let's start the car. So jumping a few steps here, but you have the knob here. Um, the car is now on, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and try the windows. Well. Yeah, I'm not sure how you're able to do that. Well. Let's close the door and put the car into park. And so the window opens, the front window, and then let's press rear. And the rear window opens. So that's very easy. I think they've, that's also another measure to just save cost. So you only have one button array, or that might be a gimmick. A bit confusing at first, but once you figure it out, it's not confusing at all. All. So I'm just going to move the driver's seat a little bit backwards. So this has a very nice fabric and it has like an Alcantara-like uh, material here on the outer portions of the seat. A very comfortable seat. But again, simple. They're trying to cut cost here to move this vehicle into mass market. This car just very shortly, I'll put the prices up in your market. Uh, that is the US Canadian German and British market and also the Swedish and Norwegian market which are where you guys f Are from who watch my videos, but this starts at 350,000 kroners here in Norway aspect. This is just above 410,000 kroners it has you know adaptive cruise has navigation. This is the plus uh, it has a few bits and bobs here and there so not too much to say here manually adjustable seats you also have this armrest which is infinitely adjustable like captain chairs armrest i like that very much let's take a step inside and you're presented by this steering wheel i think it's really nice of really high quality beautiful leather i even like the materials here on the airbag cover you have also here black uh piano black uh glossy black plastic and you also have haptic feedback on these touch buttons. You have the adaptive cruise on the left side. And you also have the uh, media controls here on the right side. You can also change the view of the, the driver's display. Put the foot on the brake and the ignition is on. So you can have, you have the adaptive cruise there on the left. And you also have the speedometer here on the right. You can also toggle between views. Uh, you only have two views there. I'm not going to do a uh, video on the infotainment because I just have very short time with it th with the car. But I'm going to show you guys the map because this screen is really high quality. I just love the graphics. They are beautiful. And also the gauge cluster here on top of the steering wheel column is very cool. And it actually moves with the steering wheel column. Look at that. That is awesome. You also have the gear selector here on the right side. 
So you put a foot on the brake and then you toggle it that way to put it into drive. And you also can go one more time to put it into brake re regen mode. And then also you do it backwards to put it into reverse. And then you press on the outside there to put it into park. You also have standard Volkswagen stocks here for your lights and for uh, lights, your indicators, and also your uh, intermittent and, uh, you know, your uh, windscreen washers there or windshield wipers rather. Um, the vents are sitting a bit low for my taste. I like to have cold air blowing to my face. These are just a bit too low for me. Um, that's a personal preference that might not even bother you. But what I do like about this cabin is that it's so airy. It just feels so spacious and I like the way the screens just sit there on top of the dashboard and on top of the steering wheel column. Screen technology has gotten so good today that we have you know, screens with really high contrast and really high brightness makes us able to put screens basically wherever we want. Back in the day, remember the first generation of the new 7 series, I mean the E65 series that came out in 2000, late 2000 as 2001 model, that screen was really recessed into the dashboard and that has less to do with aesthetics and more to do with the screen technology. The reason we're able to put screens on top of the dashboard, you know, underneath this wide expansive windshield is because of the screen technology. Here we have more of those three quarter quarter windows, which I think look very cool. And then down here in the center console, we have lots of storage. You have huge cup holders. You have a storage net there. And just look at all this space here. My God, this is must be the largest footwell in a car of recent years. You also have some, char uh, some storage here. You have also a uh, um, wireless charging pad there. And then you have this huge, let me move these out of the way, huge, center storage down there you also have usb-c ports and you can you know close that up and you still have you can put i mean you could put a water cooler here on top of this this is really cool and really awesome and then you have a glove box down there which is a sizable size um this does not have any panoramic sunroof i'm not sure if you can get it with a panoramic sunroof but let's go ahead and check out the back seat. I'm just gonna adjust this seat to a person of around, let's see, I'm about five foot seven. So a six footer would probably sit somewhere like this. Let's go ahead and check out the rear seat, guys. So as I said, this is a Volkswagen Golf sized car. Um, so not the largest car, so the, the, the materials on the rear doors are similar to those on the front doors. Um, not too much to talk about there. You have the rear seat bench with the same materials. You have this Alcantara type of material and then you also have this fabric on the center. You have isofix points here which, uh, you know, flip out of the way instead of those that you have to remove, which are a hassle because you just lose them all the time. Let's go ahead and check out rear seat room. So as I said, I'm about five foot seven sitting behind someone at around five foot 11, five, six foot, I have lots of space. This is nothing to complain about. You have some, well, I think these are for your mobile phones. These are actually quite smart and you also have a map pocket there, mobile phone pocket. Well, let's check it, check that out. See if my phone fits. Yes, it does. That's cool. Nice detail. More USB-C charging ports down there. And then you also have a center armrest here with a few cup holders. And you also have a ski pass through here. Yeah. So that's the rear seat. Let's go ahead and check out the trunk. Lastly, and then in typical Volkswagen fashion, you push in at the top of the logo. And well, so Typical size trunk for this type of car, this size of a car. Um, I think it's a bit lower and, well, maybe a bit longer than in a Volkswagen Golf. Um, you can see my camera bag sits here nicely to give you reference. And yeah, that's about it. So there you go, guys. That was the 2020 Volkswagen ID3 First Edition plus i hope you like this tour and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up down below and for more car content like this please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye <music>